Hello and welcome back to Hard Reset Info. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use Bixby Vision on Samsung Galaxy A56. Let's begin! Bixby Vision settings can be found inside settings after scrolling down all the way down and going into accessibility. In here, we want to go into vision enhancements and if we scroll all the way down, we'll see Bixby Vision for accessibility. We simply click it. And as you can see here, we have a basic an option of enabling it as in reality, it is enabled all the time. However, we can add um, app screen a shortcut in order for us to actually use it. But before we start using it, uh, I would also advise you to enable show shutter button and what it does, um, what I will show you what it does basically. And these options right here are basically, if you want to have them, you can leave them. Uh, I will leave all of them. However, keep in mind that scene describer is pretty loud, so we'll be careful about that. So now after we have added a Bixby vision uh, on the app screen, we should see it right here. So let's click it. As you can see here, oh, I believe by default we should be in the discover mode. Uh, if you ever used Google Lens, then you will see a lot of similarities. Because as you can see, whenever I will, let's say, do a photo of the little plant here, the Bixby will search the web for a very similar looking plant. Um, it's basically the same uh, on the... It's almost the same. Uh, on the Google Lens. And we can also go, let's leave it, and let's do go to the text. Uh, let's say I'm going to make a quick photo of, oh, let me catch the focus, as the focus is dead, okay. So I've made a photo of my keyboard, and as you can see, um, the Bixby automatically highlighted the text, and now I can click it and select it, or copy it, or even share it. It is really handy when you have something to uh, type in. Let's say like a join code or something. You simply do a photo of it and copy it uh, directly without manually typing it in. And lastly, we can also translate. I don't think it will translate into anything specific as these are just keyboard and I don't have any text right now. However, it works just the same way uh, like it does on, uh, on the Google Lens. It's even translated by Google. And lastly, we have Scene Describer, which can be found right here next to the wine. Uh, keep in mind though that it is a bit loud, so I'll try to lower it. Um, okay, everything is, should be low. Okay, let's try to lower the AI Assistant also. And let's go into Scene Describer. And let's say I want to do a photo of my little plant here once again. Wow, it looks like the scene describer just described my scene. Nice. Let's try to do more things. Let's say I will rearrange uh, my little scene. So now my scene looks like this. I will zoom out a little. And let's see what it says. It's not very specific. It didn't mention the color of the plant. It didn't mention our little logo right here, which is a bit of a bummer. But hey, it is. Uh, it is how Bixby Vision works. And lastly, we can also have the object object identifier, the text reader. However, there is no text, so. Let me go back. Yeah, 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 I know how to use it. So let me quickly take another photo of my keyboard here. Great. I can pause it. Um, as you can see, we also have the color detection. And if you wouldn't have the shutter button, 
then you wouldn't then you wouldn't be able to for example pause it amazing okay enough of the bixby voice if you wouldn't have it uh, if you wouldn't have the show shutter uh, button enabled then the bixby would automatically yap on and on and on about what you see uh, through the camera instead of your manually deciding whenever you want to actually use that uh, scene describer and yeah that's all for this video if you found it useful please remember to like and subscribe thanks for watching